So how many pounds did I lose in the 10 day kickstart? Drum roll, please. I lost. Ten days of potatoes, and this is what's left. I ate 15, almost 15 pounds of potatoes in my 10 days. So for those that don't know, I've been on a 10 day potato diet. I know not to use the word diet. I don't usually use the word diet, but just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna call it a diet. I'm not gonna eat potatoes for the rest of my life, so call it what you want. But for the last 10 days, I've been eating mostly potatoes, vegetables, and one piece of fruit a day, and just water. Listen, I promise if you subscribe to the channel, I won't make you eat all potatoes. Also hit the notification bell, become part of the snack pack, throw a like on this video, and keep watching to the end to find out how many pounds I lost on the potato diet. Now, I know why all of you came to this video, so that you could find out how much weight I lost in those 10 days. And I'm gonna get to it in just a second. Don't fast forward. Before I do, I wanna give you some of the things that happened along the way. It'll just be a couple minutes. Just hold tight. We're always all focused on losing fat, losing weight, and I am too. But there was a lot of other things that happened that I was not thinking about that was actually really awesome. Well, the first thing that wasn't awesome is that the first few days I was really bloated and gassy, but I was already bloated. That was one of the main reasons why I decided to do this kickstart because I had gotten to a point where I looked at my body, I looked at my belly and it was distended. I was like, okay, you're clearly eating too much dairy, sugar, processed foods, and you need to do something different. So this is why I decided to do it. But after those few days, I noticed that my body started regulating itself and it started to be okay and it wasn't as gassy, it was just regular. Now I know this diet seems very limiting and it is, that's the whole point to keep it boring. And one of the benefits though, was that it eliminated the thoughts that I had to have about choices of what I was gonna eat. So in the morning, what are you gonna eat? Potatoes. In the afternoon, potatoes, more potatoes. Basically, I prepared potatoes five different ways. Hash browns, mashed, baked, french fries, and diced potatoes. I only made the mashed potatoes and baked potato one time. I wasn't really into it, especially because I couldn't put butter and milk and stuff like that and make it creamy, so I kind of gave up on that. And after I used the diced potatoes, I didn't really feel the need to buy hash browns anymore, so I really only ate two meals, french fries and diced potatoes. So I would make the diced potatoes in the morning with red and green bell peppers and onions, seasoning, air fry. And then for the evening, I would make french fries out of fresh potatoes. I'd peel them and put them in the air fryer with just some seasoning and it was fine. I ate it with ketchup. Ketchup had a little bit of sugar. I wasn't too crazy about the little bit of sugar that's in the ketchup, especially since I was only eating potatoes and vegetables. So really I only ended up eating basically two times a day and then I have a piece of fruit in the afternoon usually. I also threw in some salads and the only dressing that I had would be rice wine vinegar and some seasonings like Italian seasoning and some fresh garlic. I didn't use any oils at all. It wasn't the best salad dressing ever but it did the trick to get those fresh greens, that refreshing feeling. So that really broke it up as well. This taught me to be patient because when I was hungry, I couldn't just grab a snack like popcorn or chips and salsa and stuff like that. I really had to think about what I was gonna make or eat. Now I did snack on carrots, but when I was ready to be eating like a full meal, I had to sit down and actually make something and cook. And it forced me to cook more in my van, which I, don't hate. I was okay with it. So I'm, I'm improving some skills. I didn't worry about the titles of breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I just ate when my body was hungry, stopped when I was satisfied, not full, but satisfied. And that worked well for me. One of the greatest benefits besides the weight loss that I found that I wasn't even expecting, my skin is so soft and hydrated. I mean, I'm not even kidding. It just like, I have, my skin hasn't felt this way in years i guess because i was just eating all vegetables basically and i wasn't even drinking like that much more water but it, it's awesome and my just all my skin it just feels so hydrated i just love it the last thing i want to say before i give you the results is that if you're considering doing this it's called mary's mini it's part of the McDougal diet or the star solution diet you can google that it's just a 10-day kickstart to kind of get your taste buds away from all the sugar and processed foods. I know a lot of people are like, that's fake news. That doesn't work. You can't just eat potatoes. You can't eat all the starches. The carbs are the devil. Oh my God. It's just 
take a minute to do a little research. When I first found out about a mainly carb diet, I was like, no, these people are nutso. But after I did a little research, I was like, oh, this actually makes sense. So if you're interested in moving towards a plant-based diet that allows you to eat carbs, I would check out the following four YouTube channels. I don't know these people personally, but these are the four channels that have really given me a lot of good recipes and a lot of motivation. High Carb Hannah, Healthy Vegan Mama, Healthy Emmy, and Plantiful Kiki. And High Carb Hannah was the first YouTuber that I saw that was doing this and I was like high carb and she was looking really good and slim and trim and I'm like well she's like in her 20s or 30s so of course she's gonna look good but no she had a lot of great recipes and she was the one that got me like started on thinking about this whole thing in general there's all kinds of things that you can do but what I will say is that just in 10 days you can see some results it's amazing one of the biggest things I was worried about losing was my coffee every morning and it really wasn't even something I thought about now I'm gonna go back to coffee at some point, but for now, I just wanna feel better and look better. All that being said, so how many pounds did I lose in the 10 day kickstart? Drum roll please. I lost nine pounds. Nine pounds, bro. Like I was actually so shocked. Now, let me give you a slight disclaimer. When I first started, before I even did the potatoes, I started two days ahead of time without drinking coffee so that I could prepare myself. And then I did the 10 days with potatoes and vegetables. And by day eight, I had lost six pounds. Now from day eight to day 10, I didn't have access to a scale because Planet Fitness doesn't have scales because they think it's some kind of judgment. Calm down, Planet Fitness. You can have a scale and measure your progress and not be in a judgment zone. But anyways, Planet Fitness did not have a scale. So by the time I weighed myself, it was probably day 12, which I was already off the full on potatoes after day 10. At this point, I'm super, super thrilled with the results. I feel better and I'm gonna continue to eat a whole foods plant-based diet for a while. I wanna lose more weight. Hopefully those of you that were along on the journey, you had success as well. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and here's to your health. So don't knock the potato diet until you try it. I had one piece of fruit a day Could it be a busy street I'm on? No, I'm not looking over there. Basically just came down to two and oh, and I also had a hash bread. Potatoes prepare. Kickstart or the, you know, like them. It's called, it's called Mary's Mini. When I first, when I, hmm? I don't know these people personally. Diced, mash, were diced, hash bread. What? Potato, potato, subscriber, subscrado. <laughs> no. How many pounds I lost on the d fudge?